Effie, now at 9.15, you know, we've been talking a lot about the new year, and with it, just around the corner as well, we have that tax deadline to talk about. And with this new tax bill that was just signed into law, will anything change for you, for me, for us as taxpayers this time around? Here with us this morning is Jim Denton. He's the vice chair of the Oklahoma Society of Certified Public Accountants Education Foundation. Good morning. Good morning, Marky. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Thank you so much for being with us here this morning. I know a lot of people have questions, and you're here to give us just some general advice. But the best thing you say is to check with your personal oh, certainly. tax professional. Oh, certainly. Go to your advisor. Yeah. So what, uh, the new tax bill that was just uh, made into law, signed by President Trump, will that change anything for us this oh, time around? It will change some things. It'll change a lot of different things. It'll, it's a 500. For this year? Uh, for 2017, we've got some things to think about going into 18. Mm -hmm. And, you know, paying your state tax and getting that all paid this year is important because next year we're limited to $10,000 on our state and local tax deduction. So, but filing for this coming year, nothing will change for us, but it's how we prepare for 2018 right. to file in 2019. Right. For, uh, you know, is doing going to things change. in 17 that make a difference in 18, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe deferring some income if at all possible, because those rates are going down in, in 18. So tell us, what's your biggest piece of advice? What should we do right now? What should we go to our tax professionals with uh, to prepare for this next year? With I changes? say this every year, it's, it's pay yourself first. In other words, fund your retirement plans, do, get your 401k deduction, spend your money in your, your FSA, uh, make sure that you've, you're, you've deducted, you've deferred the full amount into your IRA and, and your 401k. And you know, when we talk taxes and this new bill just signed into law, it gets kind of complicated. You know, people don't know exactly what to expect. So when this all kicks in January 1st of 2019, who's going to get the biggest cuts here? Well, the, the cuts are pretty much across the board, but at the top level, you're move, moving from a 39.6 rate down to a 37% rate on the very top of, of taxpayers. But those tax, same taxpayers are losing some deductions in the area of state tax and, and you know, other areas that they're going to that they're going to, you know, balance out. And a lot of this are subtleties, and some of them are big, but, in, you know, nothing gargantuan has changed. It's kind of like an earthquake. It shakes things around a little bit, but it's, you know, we're all still there. An uh, Oklahoma earthquake. Uh, yeah. In, yeah, which uh, <laughs> now happens somewhat frequently. Um, <laughs> and a lot of, I had a lot of viewers ask too, you know, when will we find out, you know, how much more, how much less we're paying in taxes? I think a lot of people are kind of in limbo here and especially business owners too. When do you think we find out a lot of people, what this looks like for us personally? A lot of people find out when they get their paycheck because the, the withholding tables will be adjusted for these new rates. So the uh, withholding, so they'll get, a, some of them will get a raise in pay. Not, not everybody, but, but you know, those tables will be adjusted. And because people's situation changes every year, their particular, it's, it's hard to compare apples to apples between years because you may have one big sale in a year mm -hmm. and you've got more tax that year and then the next year you have less and so so many people think that they're going to overall pay less mm -hmm. with this new act. Um, and the other question I had, let's talk the changes that are accompanying the standard deductions, the itemized deductions with this new bill turned into law. What do those look like for us? Well, the standard deduction has moved from 12.7 in 2017 to 24,000 in 2018. What that means is a lot less people will be itemizing their deductions in the future. And so, but I tell people still total them up because you, you may want to itemize even if you don't need to because when you look at the state tax, the, the standard deduction at the state tax level, which keys off of federal, if you take the standard deduction on state tax, you may end up owing more because they haven't changed their t standard deduction. And bringing it back to this year before we file come April, is there anything that we can do now to uh, minimize our income taxes? Is there a way to, to keep saving there? In 17, we've got a, just a couple, just a day here, <laughs> a business day. I know, we're, we're dwindling down. But you can write your check for your state taxes. If you've got that fourth quarter due in January, 
and it, it was due, it's due in January, you can put that in 17 by paying it now. And so if you're paying on 17's taxes, that's deductible. Okay, good to know. And then what do you see? Um, I know you must have worked with a million people in your lifetime. What's the biggest mistake that you see people make when it comes to filing taxes and tax season? Oh, lack of organization. You know, be prepared, be, have your things together. If you can be prepared, be a good Boy Scout as it relates to your taxes, that's... Or that's, Girl Scout. Or Girl Scout. Or Girl Scout, yeah. That, that's, the, you know, that's the, the goal is to have your, have your information ready, be ready for, for that time, do, do the best you can to go through your records twice, make sure you're picking up everything. And the deadline? this coming year is I believe it it's a April 18th April 18th April 18th because Washington always has that holiday there and so <laughs> you never know if it's going to be it, that's delayed right or not. that's right they'll announce that soon okay so. all right well, Jim thank you so much for coming by this time well, of year you, I know it's Marky. holiday season you've got a lot going on so we appreciate it, it and a pleasure. Uh, we'll share all of that information with our viewers KOCU 5 News actually let's get it over to Michael for a check the <laughs> forecast Michael Armstrong over to you